In this video, we'll help you improve judging line and length while batting. For the purpose of this video, you'll need something that you can create lines with. We used masking tape, but you can use whatever you can find your hands on. This video will obviously be split into two different sections. The first section will be distinguishing between the different lines that you have to judge between. And the second section will be distinguishing between the different lengths. These two sections build on each other to form a whole. So make sure to watch the whole video all the way to the end to see a fun drill and improve your judging of line and length today. For the first section, we'll be discussing different lines and what type of shots we'll want to play within those lines. The first line we're going to be looking to create is a wider outside offline. Here, we'll start a line on about seventh stump and pull it all the way down the pitch towards the bowler. Any ball that pitches on the outside of that line or the offside of that line will be looking to attack with a cross bat shot. For our front foot option, we'll be looking to play a square drive. If the ball's shorter, we're going to look to pounce on the back foot and play a cut shot. For both of these shots, we want to make sure to get our head towards the line of the ball. We want to make sure that we get our hands nice and high and it's from a high to low angle through the point of contact. The next line we'll be creating is one that starts on about two leg and stretches all the way down the pitch. With the completion of this line, we now have formed three channels. The wider one, which you already covered, a straighter channel, and a leg side channel. For the middle channel, we'll be looking at our straight bat shots. Here, we're again gonna split it into front foot and back foot options. Our front foot option will be a cover drive, if it's slightly wider in the channel, a straight drive, if it's straighter at you, and then if it bounces a little bit shorter, but still a front foot shot, we're gonna look for a solid front foot defense. The front foot offense only kicks in when we can't attack. Since we have mentioned the fence, we're going to stick to it and move on to our back foot shots. So when the ball's slightly shorter and we have to move back, we're going to start off with a back foot offense when the ball's nice and straight at us. And as the ball moves wider and we have some freedom for hands to explore and go through the line of the ball, we're going to look at a nice explosive back foot punch. Since we are talking about judgment, at this point of the video, we'd like to ask you to use that increased judgment to hit the like button below. It would mean the world to us. The final channel we're going to be covering in this section is our furthest leg side channel. Here we'll be looking to again play with a nice straight bat, specifically on our front foot options. The only difference is our bat will be going through at more of a mid-on angle than straight back at the bowler. When the ball bounces closer to the line on about two leg, we're going to look to play a nice solid on drive, making sure to keep our balance and our head forward. The further the ball bounces down leg, the more we're going to start breaking our wrist on contact and look to play the flick shot towards a square leg region. Since we've covered our front foot shots, the next thing would be to cover our back foot shots. When the ball pitches slightly straighter and finishes about hip height, we can look to play a hip glance. Here, the biggest thing is just to make sure the elbow is nice and high, the bat is straight, straight as possible. The shorter the ball goes beyond this point and the higher it comes up to the bat, so we're going to move to our cross bat shots. So looking to execute a pull or a hook shot. For this section, we just want you to eat as many balls as possible. Work on each channel, hit enough until you feel comfortable to move on to section number two. Now that we've covered all the shots we need, we can create our final line. And with the creation and completion of this line, we'll move on to section two. In this section, we'll be covering judging length, as well as a fun drill that you all can go do in your next session. You will create a line that spans across the other three lines creating two separate channels. These two channels distinguish between which balls we need to go forward, so a front foot channel, and which balls we need to go back to, so a back foot channel. Any ball that pitches fuller than the line, or your half closer to you, you're gonna to look to play one of our front foot options. And the inverse of this is also true. Any ball that pitches shorter than that line, or furthest away from you, you'll be looking to play one of our back foot options. Please be aware the distance of this line differs to every single batter, and it's determined by what lengths the batter feels comfortable going forward and back to. For the purpose of this video, we had the line about six meters from the stumps. To get into the drill, we'll be facing 18 balls. The purpose of this drill is for you to play the correct shot 18 times out of 18, depending on where the ball pitches. So if it's fuller, you need to make sure to go forward and play one of our front foot options. If it's shorter, you need to make sure to go back and execute one of our back foot options. But that's not all. We also have our three channels. So depending on where it pitches line-wise, you also need to decide between our square drives, straight drives, yeah. on drives, flicks, cuts, pulls, back foot punches. Your whole decision-making gets tested in this section. Our ultimate goal yeah. is to get this correct every single time. So a perfect yeah. 18 out of 18. There is one catch though. Although we are aiming for 18 out of 18, yeah. whenever we get 16 or higher, we need to increase the difficulty. 
We can increase the difficulty by either ramping up the speed or adding some swing to the occasion. If you are struggling with any of the shots we covered in this video or mentioned in this video, check them out below. We'll link them all in the description. Finally, thank you to every single viewer that got to this point of the video and a special thanks to our members that help make these videos possible. Special thanks to Ray, Aaron, Hammer, Stania, Lima and Rajesh.